All right, I came out of that relatively okay. Um, all right, let's go. Dude's lost his marbles. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Oh, here we go. Now I got two of those. I've got a mirror there. Um lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Should I go there now? How many? 1,700. Or I guess 17,000. Um, I'm assuming she just stays here. Kitty! Let's check my room over here real quick. Looks like there's something... Oh, we got another one. Oh, we have a new board for Father Theodore. Praying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his MO. MU sent a recruitment pamphlet. Does the universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is conspiring to distract you with shiny but unattainable baubles in an effort to distract you from the truth? Are you convinced you're the only one who feels this way? Then the MU Center is for you. Come, throw off the shackles of modern society. Meet others of a similar mindset. Create a better reality. The reality that you want. Not the one that they want for you. Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Okay. Uh, when you first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa, Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the covers of a series of best-selling self-help self books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oasis? oasis? What? Known as MU Centers. But what lurks behind this friendly and benevolent demeanor, while some consider Wallace a guru, others religious watchdogs and, more disturbingly, family members of MU Center congregants, consider him nothing more than a modern-day cult leader. That's about what I think. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan, just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting hmm. should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. Let's see, I've had a serious conversation with Myra. <clears throat> I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. Sketchy. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. 
You never trust these people. <clears throat> They're crazy. All right, well. Time to put in some slides. Don't go, kitty. All right, so it looks like I've missed a couple. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. Myra was right all along. I should have listened to her, but her theory seems so unbelievable. Unbelievable. But all true. Yeah. And crazier than I could have ever imagined. The truth is supposed to set you free. Why do I feel so trapped by it? Because ignorance is bliss. Once you learn what's happening behind the curtain, you can never go back. That's what happened to Myra. She was a damn good detective. Better than I ever was. She went searching for the truth and it trapped her too. This is your chance to free yourself. To free all of you. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you, and we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, They'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. <clears throat> All right. 
Get a. Thanks. Oh wow, I. I get green goop for. All that. Isn't he cute? Look at him. He has a. He has a little red bow. He just keeps me meowing. All right, let's go see what upgrades we can get. I don't think I've found any keys. Back again, detective. Well, you're my favorite person to visit. You give me upgrades. Do I have any keys? Oh, I do have one. Can I take these? Yeah, buddy. All right, how about... Cool. All right, what am I gonna get here? Do I need the final health upgrade? Or do I want... That wouldn't be too bad to have, I guess. Let's check combat. No, I still don't feel like I really need that. Fast while crouched. I will go ahead and get that. Let's see. That might be useful. Actually, it probably would be really useful for me, but... about athleticism I think I may just get this last health upgrade you need my assistance again I do I could use some information most of all I sense that but it's all I can sense at this juncture what do you mean? There's something here that's making things murky for me. For everyone in here. Although there aren't many left in here to clear things up for. You're one of the last. But for how long? That's... ominous. Let's get you taken care of. Shall we? Don't you think it's time that you moved on? Well, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. All right. Pop a save. Have I gone on to chapter 12 yet? No, I have not. Imagine I gotta be getting pretty close. All right, let's go back. <laughs> 